thinking he nuts, I are due to vasectomy. Baccarat creep, but I still smell the jealousy. 100% you be giving it 70. Up in my weapon research. I tell my bro, like 10 blunts for me. Chip it high till I can't feel nothing. Wake up. It's the first of the month. I brush my teeth and get up. I'm about to dirty my cup. I don't try our eights. I don't make those. I try to date Tola and I tend to windows. I gotta know who you fuck, fuck in this room. Can't trust no bitch. Can't trust these niggas. And love my man. And love my bitch. And love my bitch. I think she's my bitch. I know she's your dick. What's good, y'all? Your boy, Mr. Opium God. We back up in this thing now, look. Dude, I had to, dude. I had to. We're, we're here. Finally. Hello, my opium brothers and sisters. Are there even sisters? Where are the hoes at? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean to call the sisters hoes. My bad. I have been talking about this album for months. Literal months. I've probably been talking about this album since August. And we are finally here. Destroy Lonely No style it. I don't even know how we even got to this point where I'm always getting like asked y'all bro when you doing it when you doing it when you doing it and I always put these certain dates like oh it's gonna come out this day it's gonna come out that day it's gonna it's time it is time Whew, I am excited oh I'm really excited let's get into this shit bro I need everyone right now follow my TikTok. follow me on Twitter I need to hit 10K. Bro, this year is the year. I know a bunch of motherfuckers in the world be saying it like, oh, it's my time. My time is now. Nah, we gonna, we gonna show these niggas. We gonna show these niggas. We finna fucking grind. Track, track, track one. No stylus. When am I gonna get my opium contract, bro? And where the fuck Cardi been, bro? Where the fuck Cardi been? This nigga came home with the milk. Wait a minute. Why Pakistan? Why Pakistan? It's about to be like a rage type of album. Bro, that beat is going crazy. It sound like it sound like some goddamn Super Mario Star activation type of shit. <laughs> Wait, did he just say if he need cologne, he gonna have sex? Oh my! Bro, I'm so tired of hearing the lyrics wrong, bro. This nigga Cardi got these opium niggas calling themselves vamps. What the fuck did dude? And see here the crazy thing, man. Like, I don't even want to talk about Cardi too much, bro. But how do y'all feel about the opium label? Off the rip. I I, I didn't know Destroy Lonely was gonna sound like this. I honestly thought he was gonna be at a more higher pitch in terms of vocally. Like I had a feeling obviously that there were gonna be a lot of trap vibes here, but I didn't know that his voice was gonna be like that. But bro, how do y'all feel about the opium label? Because dude, I just don't know. I feel like personally that the label would be even bigger if this nigga would actually fucking drop goddamn music and promote his goddamn artist, bro. Like, dude, this nigga Cardi literally came in on the fucking 25th of December, played with everyone's hearts, and then literally just dipped. So for right now, obviously, we're only on track three. We early though, we early. Love my gang, I love my gang too. I love my niggas, dude. I got that, got that, got that goddamn the baby type beat. What? Bro, 
that beat is going crazy, bro. I think Destroy Lonely is the type of nigga that I want on my gang, bro. This nigga loyal as fuck. I need a nigga like Destroy Lonely. We don't need niggas like Gunna out here, bro. There should be no reason I scroll down on G's and I see someone say G. I can see the future. Ooh, this the beat give me like an early late 2000 type of vibe. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean. That nigga sprinkled crack on that bitch. He sprinkled some crack. He, he sprinkled all kind of shit on that motherfucker. What? What the fuck? Ooh, I love the rage vibes. I love the rage vibes here. Bro. Man, man, hey, yo, what the fuck this nigga mean, wait, whoa, what the fuck this nigga mean by she in school, but it's cool, Lone mentions a woman he likes who is a college student, contrasting his lifestyle as a rapper with her as a student. Why are y'all annotating it like this, bro? Lone admires her beauty and considers making her his partner to- Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't want to talk about Cardi too much, but I will say this, man. Like, with hearing a lot of the rage stuff in literally the past year and a half, man, I'm just like, damn, bro. This, man, because, like, before before a whole lot of red came out, me personally, I rarely heard any rage type of style of songs. But then it took pretty much a few months after a whole lot of red came out till I started really hearing more of the rage stuff. How do y'all feel? Do y'all feel like Cardi was like the, like I feel like he was the one to like really, really, really put that sound on the map because I hear that shit a lot now and I mainly feel like I heard it from him. Stylist as a song, I really fucking enjoy it. I love the vibe. Same with track four. I don't know if that's called Vitamin Scoat or Vitamins Coat or whatever, but a fire ass song as well. And why does someone on fucking Genius say he like little kids? Track six, fake niggas. Oh, I hate niggas too. I can't fuck with no fake niggas either, man. Fuck these niggas, man. Yo, I'm praying on a certain nigga downfall. Fuck that nigga, man. Fuck that nigga, bro. I'm praying on a nigga downfall, bro. I ain't even gonna say who it is. Fuck that nigga. Fuck fake niggas, man. And fuck the niggas that watch him too, bro. Fuck these niggas, man. Fuck them, bro. Stop calling yourself a vampire. And like I said, pray on one certain nigga downfall, bro. Fuck that nigga. And y'all ain't ever gonna know who it is, but fuck that nigga, bro. Oh, this is making me wanna get active, bro. I feel like talking shit right now. But I ain't finna talk shit. Oh man, I'm feeling a little I'm feeling I'm I'm feeling evil right now. Uh, I'm glad that I'm glad that song is off, bro, cause holy fuck, I was finna I was finna go in. Bro, I I need I need something like fake niggas. I need more shit like fake niggas, bro. Like bro, I feel like going off like that shit just woke me up. I was always awake, but bro. Oh, 
Why does Why does sound like a Haba Hotel type beat? This sound like a Haba Hotel track type beat. Oh my mama, this is a Haba Hotel type beat. Bro, no. Bro, what is up with these niggas in blood? And you better be talking about wine, my nigga. You better be talking about wine. I better not hear this nigga say anything about a vampire in this in this album again. Like, I'm pretty sure niggas around my age probably remember this thing. Niggas in their early 20s might, but mainly niggas around my age. It's like I said, I don't know about the niggas in their early 20s. I know niggas that are in their late teens and mid-teens not gonna know about this, but Habo Hotel, man. That beat reminded me like of the Habo Hotel tracks beats that niggas used to be able to make back in the, oh man, this nigga right here just brought me back to 07 cuz wait a minute wait bro this is the Habo hotel track why do it sound like he took a they took a little bit of that and sprinkled a little bit of that into the album beat am i tripping i think i might be tripping but for some reason that beat reminded me of the the Habo hotel tracks beat for whatever reason yeah, track nine lonely bro <laughs> Back that bitch up! Back that bitch up! Back that bitch up! Cause that shit was getting right. Back that bitch up! Back that bitch up! Back that bitch up! How we, how we hit with that? Wait, wait, wait! He was like, ear, ear! Back that shit up! He sound like me for real. He sound like I'm I'm dreaming about that money. The only issue is I don't see the money, bro. I don't see the money. Say so y'all niggas already know. Nowadays, I'm more honest with my opinion. I will say this, right now, I am really enjoying the production side of things. It obviously, Destroyer Lonely is, you know, he's he's there. You know, he's there. There has to be a lot of love shown to the people behind the scenes. And I personally feel like people behind the scenes don't really get love. I feel like the only people that really, really, really get love that are the, the headliner. You know, it was like, you know, this is Destroy Lonely, no stylist. This isn't Destroy Lonely, X producer, this, that, you know, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's that way. There is a multitude of producers on this thing. It's not like it's only produced by one singular producer. You know, we've got multiple producers around on this thing but i am seeing one producer producer pop up a lot and that is clayco i'm not really sure who else are the other producers that really show up on this but bro shout out to the producers that are working on this thing man but it's obvious i'm not gonna disrespect destroy lonely he does bring that energy that does complement the beats but obviously everything he's saying is repetitive but it's like i said man it's like when you look at tracks like fake like i like shit like fake niggas because you know it's fuck fake niggas bro it's fuck niggas but i'm not i'm not gonna say too much i've already said a lot i'm gonna continue track 11 on the table what bro okay bro illuminati is a secret society that secretly rules and controls the biggest companies and industries they also have control over news, media, and celebrities. 
Lonely is referring that he gets money just like how Illuminati does. He is also referring to how rich he is in comparison to the Illuminati. Big artists like Kanye West and Jay-Z have been a part of this secret group. What the fuck are we talking about? And why are these niggas actually a secret society? I cannot stand niggas, bro. Wait, I'm being a dumbass right now, bro. Like, bro, 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 bro. Was Jay was Jay Z and Kanye West really part of the Illuminati, bro? I might leave my bitch a bunch of bitch. Niggas still in sweat. I might have to cut off their heads. Yo, what? Bitch, this one, this, this nigga on some goddamn Jeff Dahmer type shit. Crazy, bitch, 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 bitch
Bitch got so much ass, and drag on the floor. What? At that point, just say she got a BBL at that point. I ain't never heard someone say some shit like that before, bro. Her ass fat and drag on the floor? And why the beat it sound like the second boss battle of Sonic on the hero arc? Bro, if I hear that bar one more time, bro. Ass so fat, it drag on the floor. That is a fucking crazy ass bar, bro. And when he says that, what does he mean by is he talking about he, he, he or what? Me or him? What does he mean by that? See, I like tight beats like this, like crazy 808s, hi hat patterns like that. I fuck with this sound right here. What is going on right now? Bro, what? Shawty trying to get in my mind. Guess she asked me what I think. She know that black my favorite color, but her little pussy pink. I don't even feel, I don't even feel right wearing pink right now, bro. And then someone gonna say maybe it's a K-pop reference. What? Bro, what in the world is going on right now, bro? And that right there is Destroy Lonely No Stylist. Finally, finally, we finally got it done. I'm happy that we finally got it done. Now I can get my opinion. Now I say from the production side of things, it was extremely fun, man. Extremely fun. But we have to be real right now, bro. From the lyric standpoint, it's not there at all. And I already know niggas be like, oh, bro, just sit back and vibe. Man, shut the hell up with that. Oh, yeah, sit back and vibe. I agree with the, yeah, sit back and vibe. But what's going to happen when we sitting back and vibing and then this nigga's rarely heard of in five years from now? Will the vibes matter then? Or should we talk about now on how we can have this man stay around for years to come? There is a five-year limit for most rappers like that. How many rappers like that do we usually see last a long, long time? 
it's rare there is going to be always be someone new once every other year so yes i agree with people when they say oh bro just sit back and vibe okay i'm gonna sit back and vibe but what is gonna happen or how will you feel when you are sitting back and vibing and then in four or five years time the person that you said to sit back and vibe out to literally has no more relevance anymore so i enjoy destroy lonely from a production standpoint because i felt like the production was a really big big piece in this album but i feel like lyrically and we can all be honest here as well he was saying majority of the same stuff for the whole entire from track one all the way down to 19 and that's why i feel like with guys like this i feel like their bread and butter would be hey i'm going to release something from one track to like 12 or 13. i personally feel like this should have been a 14 tracker and i feel like it started going a little bit downhill for me when i heard him start pulling out like the rock trap type of stuff and then there was i think it was on like crystal Ca castles where he was like off beat a little bit i think it was crystal Ca cast so i feel like it should have went from 1 to 13 and then right at the end like how they did on track 19 ended off with veteran because i felt like it's a little too much adding 19 and there was one part of the album the nigga did say that he was only 20 so i mean i feel like with this album he does have a promising career but i feel like if he keeps continuing with all of the lyricism that he was doing on there and having the production carry him i don't know how far this would go man and that's just me being honest and real but i will say this you know niggas will always try and you know point out the negatives and point out the cons that i pointed out but i'm gonna also point out some negatives i really do feel like you can turn up and have a good time for the present moment bro i really do feel like that man i really do feel like it is an extremely fun trappy vibey you know it's sprinkling in with a little bit of rage album i do feel that way i do feel that way but that doesn't disregard the fact that the stuff like this can be found elsewhere you know what i'm saying so honestly can't wait until destroy lonely comes out with some more music because i honestly am really intrigued to see how he does take his career because it's like i see i see a lot of you guys talk about him and because of you guys that made me want to listen to him you know you guys really do influence me a lot to want to listen to these guys so i'm not going to shit on the kid too much you know what i'm saying i feel like that's a little bit of inconsiderate of me to shit on the nigga when he literally is just only 20 fucking years Years old and has like a bigger following than most niggas that are literally older than well he's 21 i'm not gonna say too much about the nigga bro the only one the only thing that i will say right now is that i wish this man success like that's the crazy thing about it man like niggas always want to look at niggas when they give constructive criticism like bro i don't got no problem with destroy lonely i want all of these everybody that i review i want everybody to be successful bro point blank period even though i have these criticisms and even though i have all these things i still want these niggas to succeed and hell there's a few tracks off of this motherfucker that i will be playing it's like i didn't exit out of this thing with nothing vitamins coat fucked with it no stylist fucked with it fake niggas fucked with it lonely fucked with it like the first half of this joint was night but up until it got to around track 14 that's when i was like okay it's getting a little in eh right now you know what i'm saying so i if it was 13 tracks like this one would have been great but you know the addition of the last five tracks i felt like they weren't really needed so it was really nice of him to experiment with the rock trap personally it really didn't need those two tracks because they did sound a little weird but still i like the attempt that was made so destroy lonely no stylist finally 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 leave some recommendations down below if y'all have any recommendations of what y'all want me to hear next leave them down in the comments below please leave albums leave artists because like i said i do want to do listening to for the first time again so please 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 leave some albums artists down below i really appreciate it so hope y'all enjoyed this video this be your boy mr 2k god and I'm out this bitch.